I saw on the news that someone is stealing wheels of police cars. The police is now looking tirelessly to catch him. What did the mermaid wear to her math class? An algebra. And finally, you really have to hand it to short people because they can't usually reach it anyway. Sorry, short people. But welcome to Shave and Butcher for another shave. It's getting close to winter, so um, it's time for the Bay Rum from Barrister and Man. This has been in the den for quite some time and uh, haven't used it in ages last winter, probably. Not a lot left, so we'll see if we can get any foam going from that. Razor is going to be the Philharmonica 13. Can you see it? It's not a lot of... That's a, not a lot of letters on it. Well, it's the wrong damn side, isn't it? There you go. Philharmonica 13. The um, stainless steel one. Brush is Jeff Anderson's GA7. Nice and thick badger. Going to wet the face, which has been prepped as as per usual with a, a nice a nice wash and then almond oil and tea tree oil about 20 minutes ago is that the cleaning so it's been soaking and digesting the face a bit okay let's see if we can get this going you know any any day now this this little ring will come off the bottom and then just move around as you try and move it around with a, with a brush and then something's got to be down. Then you have to grate it or put it into something smaller. But this might be a soap we can kill this winter. Why not? I haven't killed a lot of soaps ever really. Just keep buying new ones. There you go. I can't remember how you lather this soap. Some people have issues with Bear Stern Man. I think, I think usually I haven't. Of course, this is not an, one of the most recent soap bases, whatever they're called. Something spectacular or other excelsior right and and what have you the soap is what is it could it be three years old i think so still a nice big rum scent to it yeah we we did get a ladder on it that's for sure It's just a matter of making the consistency good enough. Okay, that's quite a bit of water. See what happens. Oh, lovely scent. I was watching Mark from Friendship Shaving earlier today. He said his mom, his mother, had memories of watching her grandfather, so Mark's great grandfather, shave with a straight razor. And her memory was that he didn't rinse the razor blade off, he just flicked it and got the soap off. And Mark was arguing, that's some pretty. That's a pretty good, good lather with good moisture content. Well, my my rule, or one of my rules, as I've said several times before, is is if you 
if you can't rinse the leather off the razor um, in a second or two under water, then it's too dry. Whipping it off without without rinsing, that's something else. That is something else. No, <laughs> not even close. Well, of course, you, I could put more moisture in this lather, I, I could. But I think you would have to bow lather it to get it sort of thick and fluffy or voluminous enough, or I would have to, to be able to pull a quick like that. This razor, by the way, wow. Perhaps my best razor. But then I say that about quite a few of them. I was thinking of maybe making a short video of just showing off the razors. What do you think? Would that, would that be interesting to anyone? done it before, but it was a while ago and I must have acquired a few new, yeah, a few. So let me know what you think. I may do it anyway. So if you absolutely don't want to see it, let me know. I don't have a lot of stainless steel racers. In fact, this might be the only one. I used to have a few more, but I got rid of them. And I had this idea that I didn't like stainless steel racers, which is ridiculous. If anything, it's a bit more practical. Because they're, they don't rust, or at least they're not supposed to. I haven't tried my luck with that, <laughs> leaving, them, leaving them wet. Yeah, so I can't flick the leather off, but it comes off in a second when I put it under water. Good combo of lather and brush and racer, I think. Yeah, nice little first pass. I saw someone write somewhere today that, you know, on the topic of unemployment, when he was saying, Oh, that's pretty thin. Should I? Should I go back to the pack, maybe? I could. I don't have to. I could. But it would just make it look better. So I underloaded a bit. Probably because I did the usual motion and, and, and residence time for the brush in the, the puck and of course 20% of the surface uh, usually sheds soap atoms was in play so of course it was I should have done that for much longer but let's try it out let's try what way too little soap does to and against the grain pass be interesting eh? an interesting grip. Well, 
this soap is pretty damn slick. So I need a thick lather, is my conclusion. So what about unemployment, Johan? What's the secret? Well, secret is unemployment only exists because there's no work. If there was no such thing as work, there wouldn't be unemployment. So unemployment is not the problem, work is the problem. You learn something every day on Instagram, whatever it was. So that's good. Go tell your congressman. Yeah, this, this scent is really nice. My only bay rum scent, I can't really compare it to anything. Yeah, so someone asked if I ever do videos in Swedish, my native tongue, and I haven't really thought about it. Well, I can do the rest of this pass in Swedish then, see how that feels like. Well, shall we? Det är ju på något vis alternativ till, till att göra ett tredje pass. Jag byter vinkel lite. Kanske inte ser så proffsigt ut. Ser proffsigare ut när man bara swish, swishar av leverett. Perfekt. Som duktiga Youtube-människor gör. Men ni är fast med mig. Okej. Okay. Bara för att kolla hur många som kikar på videon. 13 och en halv minut. In i den och är från Sverige. Alla som pratar svenska och fattar detta. Kommentera. Jo, gör det nu. Ska ta lite vatten till. Får vi se om det är klar. Nu är det tunt luddar. Väldigt, väldigt lite kvar. Det ska gå. Det borde gå. Det är en jäkligt bra tvål. Det är ingen snack om saken. Nu är det nästan... Nu är det som Marks farfars far. Så, nu har alla andra stängt av. Nu får, nu får ni svensktalande fan ge support. Jag 
kommer faktiskt inte ihåg om det är så att jag har ursprungsäggen på. Jag köpte den av någon japan på Ebay. Eller om Niklas Gudmundsson har satt äggen på. Det kommer nog inte han ihåg heller. Nej, det måste vara hos Niklas. Jag måste använda det där hundra gånger. Jag har nog inte slutat den mer än en gång. Bra kniv. Bra ägg satt på. Räcker gott. Okej, okay, that was a bit of Swedish. The Swedes are bored. The non-Swedes are even more bored. <laughs> But we're done shaving. So, let's see what that felt like. Ah. Pretty damn good, actually. Pretty nice. Not a baby butt smooth shave, but a really good one. A really good one. Alan Block from Taylor of Old Bond Street. If you shave very regularly and, and or want to try and shave every day and you get a bit of irritation from it well otherwise as well but particularly for the people who quickly need to get non-irritated skin because they're going to shave again then alum is is very good it doesn't help everybody uh, and if you if you don't shave every day you probably don't need it um, but it adds it heals something and it does reduce irritation uh, actually Not entirely, but if you just have a little bit of irritation like I do, it probably takes away 50% of it. If you cut yourself, it's not going to help very much. Um, but it's worthwhile trying out. Those things aren't expensive at all. Okay, rinse that off. Oh, feels good. Very pleased with that. <laughs> I was thinking, uh, m most of you who are wet shavers are at least as particular as I am about what to use, what hardware, what software, etc. Speaking of, it's going to be Stetson today. Um, and how we do things and the routines and everything. So, Myself I know, but I'm asking, I'm wondering about you guys. Are you particular about a lot of other things too? Do you have a lot of attention to detail in terms of, I don't know, what you eat, what you drink, other hobbies, your home? You know, or is it just, or is it just the shaving? I find that interesting. Let me know if you want to. Thanks for watching, uh, appreciate that. We did, uh, I'm not gonna recap because it's all wet and everything, but it was the Bay Ram from Barrister Man, and that was the star of the show, as people say, and it did not disappoint. It is actually a rather nice scent mix with Stetson in a weird way. So yeah, really happy about that, a top-notch shave. Thanks for watching, take care and stay sharp.